Now in its ninth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. This is Alex, and this is the Ramble, and we go until midnight tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, oh yeah, it's him. It's Albert Renoso. I uh, was kind of late in doing this uh, because I didn't remember that we made an appointment for today. Because yeah, usually yeah. on Fridays, I never, you know, I never do this sort of thing. So. Well, now you're doing it on a Monday. I'm doing it on a Monday. Let me. I'm gonna move my. I uh, don't know when it will air, but it's on Monday. How do you like my new voice? <laughs> this is what I do every Monday. I do monotone Monday. Do you? Is that monotone? Monotone I, Monday. I, I every Monday, mon- I talk like this to everybody. I thought monotone was like this. Well, this is my monotone. I don't go any further. You than sound this like way. an alien, though. That's the way monotone is, like an alien. <laughs> we never did monotone Monday. I always, you know, I always wanted to do um, uh, third person Thursday, but you just couldn't. Yeah, get I couldn't hand. get into. It's I couldn't hard. do it. Thir- it's too hard. Explain third person fr- third, Thursday. Third person Thursday was uh, something that uh, that I, I I thought up that we could do every Thursday, where when we have callers on the air, yeah. we would all talk in third person. So instead of saying I. You would say Albert. I would say Albert, and it's, for you, you would you would call yourself Alex. Yeah, Alex doesn't like that. Well, Alex, that, that I could get into, but you made it more like no. It's very difficult to do because you have to do it constantly, and you keep forgetting because you don't do that naturally. Yes. Yeah. Well, except for people that do it naturally, and we know some of those. Yeah. Third person, yeah, third person Thursday. I remember we tried it, and I just I went crazy in the yeah. middle of it. Like I can't. There were some. Do that. There were some good listeners who who called in and, and got it really nicely. Um, but it's very difficult to do. And I didn't even bring up Monotone Monday because after the tragedy that was third person Thursday. Well, mono, oh, let's see, let me get a tissue here. Monotone like Monday it. is much easier than third person Thursday. But I didn't I didn't think of it until. I feel like I have to sneeze. Until we, after we're off the air. Go ahead and sneeze. No, Ladies and gentlemen, Alex Bennett's going to sneeze right now. There it is. No, that's, it's almost that, like a cat. No, that's, that's my... By the way, we have a cat here today. Oh, you have a cat? Well, we have a cat. These friends, and they, uh, they, uh, they drop their cat off and have us take care of the cat for like a couple of days. Oh, good. That's nice. Very nice. It, it, it's kind of you know what I like about having a cat. In the See house? over my shoulder. Yeah, yeah. There's my cat. There, there's your cat, That's Sophie. Right. Sophie's anyway, home. Now, yeah, right? Sophie. Uh, I, the thing about cats that I love is cats make a house feel comfortable. Yes, they do. You know, because they always the essence of comfort. You know, with with minimal disturbance as well. There's mm-hmm. not a lot of smell. There's not a lot of noises. It's it's a very calming, comforting feeling. Yeah, yes. yeah. And uh, uh, this one, the, the, before it's taken her a while to get used to the house, she stayed with us for a couple of weeks once. And mm-hmm. then, of course, she went to her home. And then we didn't see her for like three years. Oh, wow. And then they brought her back for us to take care of her. She immediately knew the place. Yeah, yeah. You know, it, it's amazing how much cats remember. Well, it's uh, been said by scientists that is one of the species that will be here long after we're gone. Well, I think it is a superior species to our own in many ways. Well, I would agree with that. I mean, our species just takes everything and uh, intellectualizes it, you know? Or, That's or, one way of putting it. You know, I mean, uh, uh, cats would never have anything like MAGA. No. You, you know, they wouldn't think that something like that wouldn't be very important to them. No, they would make sleep great again is yeah. what they want. Here's, here's what happens with this cat. So she's got a couple of things. One is a, a little 
the jar of, of kidney treats, mm-hmm. which she gets one a day, okay? So when she hears the bottle rattling, she knows, hey, yep. it's treat time, okay? Only last night I have a pill I take for my uh, oh. for uh, cr- leg cramps, right? And I opened up and took two of the pills, and I rattled the pill bottle. And she's right there waiting, thinking it's, you know, the other one. I, so I faked her out on that. Did you give her one? No, because... Not one of your pills, but one of her th- treats. You should have uh, given her one. Uh, well... You see, we're, uh, that's not nice. The rule is we're only supposed to give her one a day. That's nonsense. You can give them two treats a they, day. They had, she had rules like, you know, we have to pick the food up by eight o'clock, so there's no food out after eight o'clock. I don't know why. Why? Cats are grazers. Yes, exactly. Good Cats point. don't eat everything in one, that's on, the point one I gulp like make. we do. Yeah, they don't. The dogs, you put down a bowl of food and you turn around and look at something, you look back and it's gone, right? Yep. Cats, they snack. You know? They don't go. The only thing bad about cats is the musical. Otherwise, (laughs) outside of the musical, it's pretty good. They're fine. But I mean, cats are amazing animals. Yeah. You know? And uh, they they are amazing. uh, in, in just their the way the way they the way they look at life, life is easier than we make it. You know, it's not complicated. It's no big. You know, like I I, I, I every time I turn on the TV today, and Oof. I don't know when this Oof. is going to run, uh, but there's the Israeli Hamas war going on. And they're kidnapping people, and they're killing people, and they're lobbing rockets, and they're lobbing rockets back. And I'm going, why are you doing that? You know, we only have so many blessed years here on Earth. Why not use them for something a little better than that? Because we're not cats. We're humans. I'm I'm always amazed at our desire and ability to kill each other. It yes. amazes me. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. But, it, but it is apparently part of our makeup. And for reasons unknown, mm-hmm. otherwise we would not be doing it anymore. Yeah, right. But apparently that's what we are. Yeah. Killers of each other and other things. Yes, so. and other things. I mean, we're just, uh, I think we're, uh, we're not, uh, we always think of ourselves superior to the animals, you know. I'm superior to my cat. No, you're not. That's, ju- that's just a justification to, 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 to treat them poorly and every, kill them. Every cat that I knew, boy, I do look pale today, but I think it's the lighting and the, the uh, my thing isn't, you know. Move along, move along. Yeah, it's, it's setting itself upright. Um, but I, I just, uh, I've always found cats... I always found my, I had a cat called Shabbos, and I said he was my, he was my uh, guru. You know, he was so, he was so, how can I put it? So zen, Mm -hmm. all right, that I could pick him up. One time I had to pick him up for some reason or another, held him in my arms, walked across a street in New York City, right? Didn't even panic. Just looked at the traffic. Yeah, oh, that's nice. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. That's more stuff. Nice. More new stuff. All yeah. right, get me to sleep. Yeah, okay. Then I could come back to the apartment. I, but I was amazed. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing. You know? So uh, I I really think, uh, I, I think we should start looking at cats and, and trying to emulate them. Dogs, uh, not so much. Dogs have a certain other agenda that, I, I that I I'm supposed to like dogs, but I don't. What do you mean you're supposed to? I'm supposed to like dogs. Why? Well, because everybody likes dogs. Marjorie goes. Not everybody how come, likes how dogs. Come, how come you don't prefer dogs over cats? Why don't you like dogs? I mean, if you told me I had to get a pet, I'd get a cat. I wouldn't get a dog. To begin with, you got to walk them. Yeah, that, that that takes some time. That's for starters. Then you got to pick up their poop. Now, yes. Okay. The seventies, you didn't have to do that. Somebody said if an alien landed on Earth and looked at this whole process, they'd think the master was the dog. If an alien landed on Earth, we'd all be dead because they'd say 
these this species kills everything. We better we better get rid of the, them. Even their own planet, they're killing. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. better get rid of them. We don't really have respect for for life. I mean, I never understood war, for instance. Never understood it. Is that built into our DNA? Yes, I'm sure it is. Mm-hmm. I'm sure it was built in f- f- for the reasons of not having your food taken, not having your space invaded. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's turned into not having your ideas challenged. It has nothing really? to do with territory anymore. It has nothing to do with taking your stuff anymore. Mm-hmm. It has to do with your ideas are different from mine, so I have to kill you. Yeah, That's what it's become. Yeah, that's sad. It's sad. We're we're a pathetic human race, aren't we? I agree. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and and I just I, I I think to myself, you know, when I look at something like that war, hey, you know, people only have a certain amount of years here. Why are we making it miserable for each other? You know, just solve your problems. You don't don't fight uh, that, them. Don't kill people over them. This is exactly the same thing that well, similar a similar thing that I thought. Uh, yesterday, I thought, you know, this has been going on since I'm a kid, and I thought, no, this has been going on for a couple of centuries. It's been going. What? On, oh, oh. What the hell? Where do you? When do you get to a point where you say, I'm going to kill them because they attacked me, but they attacked me because I attacked them before that, and I attacked them before that because they attacked me. When does it get to a point where where somebody says, this has got to stop? We've got to learn to live with each other. When? Or does it? Well, it doesn't. That's the problem. I hope you're wrong about that. You know, it. it, it, it we, so far, it hasn't. We, we, well, you would think. Okay, here's my theory. Always was my theory ever since I was a kid. What is your theory, Alex? I believe. I believe in evolution. Darwin figured it out. I believe in it. You know, I believe that we evolve. But I'm beginning to question that. Because if we evolved, don't you think we would evolve out of this barbarism? Yes, I do believe. I b- do believe that's the next step, and I do believe that human evolution is not going to be in having more fingers or uh, f- faster legs. I think that the evolution of humanity has got to be here in our philosophical intelligence. That's it. That's going to be the. That's going to be the major evolutionary breakthrough for humanity. If we make it to that point, do you think we're going to make it to that point? Difficult to say, because See, there are a lot of people that think that way, and there are a lot of people that think in that way. But unfortunately, most of the people running the governments and and the positions of power do not think that way. They think of we got to have as much as we can and get it from them, or they they don't think the way we do, so we have to eradicate. I'm, you're closer. You're, you're getting closer to death. I'm even closer than you to death. What do you mean? Why scare me like that? What do you, What do you mean? I'm getting closer to death. Well, you are. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. You're how don't old bother. now? I forget. Sixty one. Sixty one. Okay, so you know you, you're getting there. You're getting in that bubble, you know, where people start to go. And uh, do you ever? Bo- are you ever bothered by the fact that you won't be here to see how it turns out? Uh, I'm not bothered by it. I think it. I think it would be fascinating to see the end of, if not the planet, then just humanity. Uh, but I don't think that that will happen in my lifetime. Well, um, you know, who knows about what 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 happens after this lifetime? You know, do you have any theories? By the way, I have many theories. Okay, about it. give me a theory. Well, my theory is that there is a that there is an an essence, an energy that is pervasive um, in existence that gives us and every other living thing its ability to be. And that after, when we are born, we get that essence somehow. And we, after... Yeah, we, have, our, we have that energy. Or you that energy, it, right. Yeah, that that energy, energy built into us. Becomes built into us when we are born. Okay. okay? after we die and and the, the birth and death cycle are only for us as human beings and living beings here on this planet on other planets and other universes whatever it may be it it manifests itself but perhaps in a different way mm-hmm. and my thought is that that essence leaves when our physical body dies 
and continues. So this in, is this is in, a vessel. This I don't like to use the word vessel. We're 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 human beings. That's what we are. This is how it's oh, manifested. Okay. All right. All right. And when we die, mm -hmm. we don't we don't. It's not going to be Alex is going to that place and Albert is going to that place and whoever else is going to that place and we'll be back together. We won't be back together like that because we've never been separated. That essence is all one essence, and we all share it. We are all that essence of existence, and we will continue to be that essence of existence after our bodies. So what happens with this essence once it leaves this body? It exists. It is the essence of existence, and it continues to exist, and it is, it, it is existence and being itself. We are a manifestation. This, this energy that I'm talking about is a, a, a an energy that is transformational and uh, is able to experience. It is an experiential energy, unlike most of the energies we know, but it will never cease. It will never change. It will always exist. And in that, we as the, as the being, as the self that we are, will always exist. Not as Alex the human and Albert the human, but as that essence, which is what we are, essentially. That's what I think. Da, 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 da. In, a, in, a, in a brief uh, couple of minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what happens to, what happens to that essence? What happens to that energy? It, it, it still exists. The Alex and the Albert still exist, but we are the essence. We are that thing. And we will know it after we're dead. Can, can we, in, in that new essence, can I call you on Zoom? No, there's no need to because you and I will be one. We are the essence. We are that 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 existential essence yeah. that never goes away. Okay, but what what is that after afterwards after this essence is here? Okay, let's say let's say uh, getting born into this is the jumping off point for that essence. What do you mean getting born into this? Well, you you get born. You you know my mother gave birth to me, and at that point I'm I'm. I'm born with this energy, this essence you talk about. No, you are not about. born with the energy. You're not born. The energy is part of the birth. It's as if it's as if the water of the sea washes over uh, uh, the millions of grains of sand. When it washes over the sand, that's you being born. When it leaves the washing, when it ebbs, that's you dying. But the essence is still there. The Alex essence, it, it's all part of one big sea okay. of essence, but which that, we are but the, all. But that, that wave's going to come back in again. Yes, that's right. And that's when we die. That's the death. No, but no, the no, wave no, no, still no. It goes death. out. You say that's when it's the death. Oh, yes, yes, now, yes. Now, but the wave, the wave goes comes, out. It has to come back. Uh, yes, it will come back. It, it comes back forever so where does Eternal it come back or is it re is this reincarnation you're talking that's about? that's what some people might call it reincarnation but mm -hmm. but i don't i don't i wouldn't say you're going to be born as another thing i would say it's you're going you're going to continue to exist as part of that essence in different ways as you did when you were the human being alex you may be a, a part of uh, some other existence somewhere that we can't even conceive of that's hmm. what it is. But will we be, and, you know, when, when we get there, let's say our essence goes somewhere else, okay? Because I've thought about this too in much What do you mean go way. somewhere else? Well, you die. You die and you're part of the essence. Uh, yeah, but the essence, oh, you mean the essence is the whole big thing? It is the energy of existence. It is always there. It has always been there. It will always be there. It's not going anywhere. We are the temporal things. We are the things that don't last. Yeah. This body of ours. Yes, the body doesn't last, but you say there's right. an energy, so that energy goes out there. No, the energy is there. It's in is you there? now. Okay, does it get to inhabit another person or thing? It's well, it doesn't. It doesn't get to inhabit separately. When when the when you die, the essence isn't Alex dying. It's the essence returning to what it is to to returning to what back out to see energy back is. out to see yes but you are not you are not you're not alex going back out to see you're the essence leaving alex's body there's no you're, name to this essence there's no name to it um 
I'm writing a treatise right now, which 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 I'm trying to develop some some informational properties for but I, and I don't well, have you, you have a lot of spare time don't you well, I always have had a lot of spare time. <laughs> I'm live I'm an, I'm a human being living on earth what what do we have but spare time yeah you know yeah. which is another thing I don't believe in either is time the time time is what it's just a measurement of interaction that's all it is well I wonder why this is Monday and because we said gonna, it's and Monday. Tomorrow's going to be Tuesday. The next, but you know. Because we've said it's Monday. We as human beings have decided that we have to quantize things. We have to put things in order. This is what we do. We have a language. Well, because we do. We do have. We do have a need for time because uh, you know you uh, you wrote to me and you said, "Let's do this yes, on Monday." We do. We do so, have a need. So to, it's a convenience. It's a convenience. It's a measurement of interaction. Yeah. It's not a thing. I don't believe it's a thing. Time is not a thing. Time, well, time is, a, is time is a based. measurement where 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 Alex and Albert have uh, uh, agreed to when the sun is over there on on our planet here, we need to zoom call each other. That's what it the, is. The question is going to be when we get to Mars. Mars uh, takes Who gets longer. to Mars? When people get humans? to Mars, humans they get to <laughs> Mars. You don't think they're going to get there? Very very difficult to say. I think so. Yeah, oh. absolutely. So we get to Mars, all right? Mm -hmm. We're based, a year is based upon the rotation around the sun. Rotation as, around the as sun. We have, as we have said that it is measured. The rotation around the sun for Mars is much longer. Right. All right? So the question is, that would be a year. A Martian year. A Martian year. Yeah. So how do we relate that to us as earthlings who say this is Monday, this is Tuesday, this is Wednesday. It's all it's all another, it's all out the window, right? It's not all out the window, it's relative. It, that's why time that's why they say time is relative. It's relative to where you are. No time in any one place is the same as the time in any other place. If you go up to the top of Mount Everest, you have a different time than you do down here. I mean if you're out on Pluto the amount of time it takes to go around the sun is incredible. Years, right? I hope so. Yeah, yeah. So now you're on Pluto, let's just say, for giggles and shits and giggles. Um, what is what is the relationship of that to your, like, when's your birthday? <laughs> you know? Your birthday well, is your once birthday, a year. You, you have to, well, uh, that's like speaking two languages. You have to be able to say, I'm here on Pluto at, at this place and time on Pluto. And you have to associate that with where people are or someone is on Earth. Mm -hmm. It's not, it's not, there's not one thing. That's like speaking Spanish and English. You can't speak Spanish and English to each other unless you both know mm -hmm. Spanish and English. Right. To know what's going on on Pluto and how to, how to, reach someone on Pluto, you have to have a commonality okay. between the two times. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm just confused it, because it, it, because it, the whole calendar and the way in which we relate to the calendar that this is Monday is all based upon the sun going around, uh, the earth going around the sun. At this point. Yeah. At this point. And, and uh, it takes, uh, what is it? Is it going around the sun that, that yeah, days are the rotation of the planet. Right. And years are the rotation of the planet around the sun. Correct. Right. So so far as we know now. So far as we know now. <laughs> you know, we used to be the center of the universe, the Earth. Not anymore. Yeah, yeah we used to have the that theory, didn't we? sun used to be the we? center of the universe. Yeah. Maybe not anymore at some point. Who knows? Yeah. But oh, getting back to it all, you know, bottom <laughs> line. Why do, why do we spend most of our time making other lives miserable? You know? Why, why do people go to Washington, D.C. to get this power? What, what's, what's all that about? That's you know, when, when, when we spoke last, Alex, a couple of weeks ago, a week ago or so, mm -hmm. by the way, I, I read the comments below, and some of the comments just blew my mind. They were, they were great. People mm -hmm. were really responsive in, in what we said. But I, I did say that there are, there are four things that I think are inherent in humanity. Mm-hmm. A, a, that we are a selfish, mm -hmm. hypocritical, mm -hmm. judgmental liars. 
and that's why we kill each other because we want we want to be we want we want it all well you know once again we've come to the end of another philosophical already already 20, 25 minutes with albert renoso but we will do this again really soon yeah or good you and i will do it in a couple of minutes but for the people mm -hmm. watching it will be really soon yeah thank I'm you so much for your time your effort and all of that and i'm sorry i forgot you were calling me today it's a thing that happens it's amazing uh, how fast i set up this whole thing though except my face is a little pale i'm not amazed you're professional you you you've done it for a decades after and, i've had coffee do i look more awake not a bit, no. Not a bit. No. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, the always complimentary Albert Reno. So thank you, Albert. Thank you, Alex. Okay. Now in its ninth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Yes, hello. Hello, how are you? What's doing? What's new? Well, how how you being? Okay, good. I'm glad. Okay. Because the camera's up there. You know, uh, uh, Albert said that what he did, he moved his camera so that it's in the middle of his screen. Now, if I did that, I couldn't do a lot of stuff, you know. But he can do it, and uh, it, he looks directly into the screen. Because, you see, if you look directly into the screen, my eyes are not facing you. If I look like this, I'm looking up at the camera. See, up there? But if I look at the center of the screen... It would be better because that's where I look all the time. Anyway, I gotta blow my nose. <clears throat> oh God, been quite a day today. Uh, oh boy, dealing with lawyers and dealing with figuring out things and whatever. Today, my lawyer tells me at. Uh, uh, let me see it. Uh, well, I get an email from him in the morning saying. Hey, listen, take the renewal thing that, you know, was all wrong, right? Has the wrong numbers on it. Just cross them out and put in the right numbers. Well, that's easier said than done because what I got to do is I got to sit here and figure out this percentage of that and this percentage of that. I found the best way to do it is through Google. It'll give you the right answer every time, right? So I, uh, I, I fill out this whole thing, I scratch things out. It's a messy page, but it's a matter of just saying, okay, we signed it and sent it back to you, corrected, all right? Which isn't gonna do anything, but it at least shows we tried, okay? Uh, and here we go again with these goddamn land, this goddamn landlord who doesn't want to admit the fact that he lost a case and that, uh, uh, you know, the rent is what the rent is that the, 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 uh, uh, the uh, uh, judge said it was supposed to be. And they want to base their renewal on different rent. But the renewal they have to base it on is the, ba the, the lease that they signed, which they signed two years ago. So they have to base their uh, uh, amount on that lease. They can't just make up a number and say, okay, here you owe us $2,000 more. And I've been dealing with that all day and writing the lawyer back and forth and sending him figures and, oh, it's just been, and then I had to run, Marjorie had to run off to FedEx and she sent him a version of it and then I had another version of it and I mailed that to him using Priority Express uh, through the post office so he could get the he could get it tomorrow and then he would send it off with a letter cover letter oh it's just such a mess and i it's getting to the point you know where i would just be willing to give up and it, just for the peace and quiet of it all um but if i do that they win and i can't let them do that so you know but then again my my lawyer did say to me you know, hey, well, why don't you just send them the renewal? Why don't we send them the renewal back? Okay, signed, but all the things crossed out and the proper numbers put in, which is a mess, okay? And he tells this to me today. It's Wednesday. The thing's got to be to them by Sunday. And I'm going, why didn't we think about this maybe, I don't know, a couple of months ago maybe, a year, you know, when we were in the middle of this whole thing and you could go, 
oh, why don't you just cross everything out and then we'll send it to them and you know, if they don't want to accept it, they don't want to accept it. But to wait this long to do it, you know, I mean, I just, I, I, so it's been a bad day for me. It's been a terrible day for me. And now it's even worse because only one person is waiting to talk to us. Not that it isn't somebody who's decent and, and fine, but gee, it would all be awfully nice if other people would call the program. No, I don't want to remove Charlie. Ansel? No, I want to admit Charlie. There we go. Um, you know, and somebody else called, but it was a phony name I didn't even recognize. So, uh, Jared F. entered the waiting room. Well, go get rid of yourself, Jared F., because I don't want to have anything to do with you. Okay. Okay, there we go. So Jared F. is removed. Do, do you believe Jer in Jared F., um, uh, uh, Charlie Wallace? I don't trust anybody new these days. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I don't either. It, and it's getting depressing. Yeah. All right. Well, the only people who are calling are people who are trying to, you know, give me a bad time and, uh, and just impinge on the program. You know. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Is it because of the baseball playoffs? Where, where Where is everybody? What? Is there some baseball playoffs going on? Yeah. Yeah. They're, you know, they finished with the regular season, and now they're leading up to the World Series. They have the uh, wild yeah, but wouldn't card. The, wouldn't the games be over by now? Depends on where they were playing. If they're playing out west. I don't know. No. I don't even know who's in the playoffs, personally. I have no idea. Maybe maybe Allen does. I'm sorry. Allen does what? <laughs> you know who's in the baseball playoffs? Yeah, right. Okay, see? Neither okay. one of us know. Okay. It's the fourth quarter. What do I know? <laughs> <laughs> we were just trying to figure out where everybody is. Yeah. Yeah. Here, it usually takes them a few minutes on Wednesday. No, yeah, no. this isn't Wednesday. Yeah. Oh, this is Wednesday, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, it's usually better on Wednesday. Yeah. It will be. Nah. Nah. Nobody listens to the show anymore. Nobody cares about this show anymore. Nah, we care about you. The show on Monday, I mean, like Charlie will admit to yeah. it, we have a ton of people yeah, on that show. Yeah. Yeah. 14, well, a lot of people go to bed and have to work, but on Monday... It's in the well, afternoon. maybe I should move this to a different part of the day. Yeah. But then it, then it might not be available to other people, you know. Yeah. So, I mean, like Brian Neary, eh, maybe he could call sometime and sometimes he couldn't, you know. Yeah. But that's true with this time slot with him, too. Yeah. Um, maybe I'll change the time slot. Try that. To begin uh, how about with. an hour earlier or something? An hour hmm. earlier? Yeah. Oh, it's eight o'clock here. Yeah. Eight o'clock here. That would give people people would if if they work like Brian, they would they would be able to get home. So if I did this at nine thirty, it would be if I did it at nine thirty, it'd be better and went until eleven. Yeah, probably nine thirty your time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. But I don't know. I'm just I'm just exhausted from everything. Uh, let's You're see here. Me. Oh, here comes Kevin. Here comes Kevin. Okay. All right. So at least we got a we got a a, a foursome here. Hello, yep. Kevin. How are you? Hey, Alex. How are you? Yeah. Robert Maudsley has entered the waiting room. Oh, another one. Do you uh -huh. want to see? Let's see who this is. Okay. I will. I will turn on my camera. All right. My <clears throat> camera. Okay, now people can just see me. Right. Now we will admit Robert Maudsley. Let's see what Robert Maudsley has to offer to us. Hello, Robert. Are you there, yeah, Robert? Uh, there he is. Come. There he is. There he is. And uh, there we go. Oh, and yeah. uh, stop video. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay, goodbye, here. Robert. And uh, we will, uh, let's see here. Uh, put in waiting room, remove. Uh, there we go. Okay. Where do these people no, come up with these bogus names? Yeah. Hmm? Lousy intro. Yeah. Where do you get those lousy names? Anyway. Well, why doesn't somebody call in and say they're Donald Trump or something, you know? Robert Maudsley. Maudsley, right. Yeah. Yeah. 
I just thought I'd try them. What the hell? You know, occasionally there might be somebody new who wants to, to join the show. I doubt it, but there might be somebody new and, uh, you know. So, Robert, you never got on. If you're listening right now, you never, they never even saw anything about you because my face was up there. So, you know. Yeah. The other night, you know, we had on Friday night, we had the world's most disgusting, vile yeah. uh, video that somebody put up as a Zoom thing, as a Zoom yeah, the one where blast the or whatever they want to call it. And, uh, but on the repeat, that I put up, you may notice it's not there. I, oh, yeah. I didn't do away with the segment, I simply covered the squares. Mm. Uh, it, it didn't take me that long to do. It wasn't that much of a problem. You know, I just, and I did it and I was so proud of it. It looked so good. You know, and everybody's going, oh my God, I can't stand that. Get that off my screen. <laughs> uh, it know. was pretty gross. I had dreams of that shit. <laughs> Dreams of that shit, did you say? Pretty much, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, can I come out and live with any of you people? I think I'm about to be evicted here. No. Uh, absolutely. You got a room here. Yeah, you got a room. I have a spare room. Well, my lawyer yeah. did say that he felt that if the, the lawyer, the, uh, that the, if the landlord tried anything, I have a strong case. That, you that, think? Huh? You think? Well, you know, I mean, the lawyer could go and want to evict us, and then we got to go through that whole procedure, and then we got to say why we wouldn't sign the renewal. But we ultimately did sign it today with the changes, okay? But do you know how messy that is on a form? That's it looks just, great, though. It, what? That looks great in the, in court. Let's say we fixed, we signed it. It's just the way it's supposed to be. Yeah. yeah. And then they'll show it on the little screen, and everybody will see it, and... And, and they'll say, well, why is it like that? Well, because that's the way it's supposed to be. It should have shown up like that all typed up, but we fixed it. Yeah. And then my lawyer uh, said, uh, what the, uh, what the, uh, then I wrote him tonight again. And I said, you forgot one thing, the deposit that we got to send them. So why don't you make out a check, send them the deposit, and then I'll send you a Zelle or whatever it takes to pay you off. I'll send you a check, you know. Or you or just can, put a bunch of black marks on it and say redacted, 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 and then send it back. Yeah, like well, they do on TV, you know. You know, uh, so I mean, he waited till my lawyer waited till today to think. You know, maybe we should send that thing back with the things crossed out. And I thought of that one two months ago. <laughs> Was but, it due tonight or something? Huh? Was it due today or something? No, it's due on uh, Sunday. Oh yeah, they they do that. They'll wait till the last. Week. Lawyers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, uh, and, and then I had to mail it to him by FedEx, and then by uh, yeah. uh, mail priority. Do you know priority mail costs more than FedEx? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you can play around with those. I I deal with that all the time. Really? How do you play around mm -hmm. with it? Oh, you you just shop for different rates. I mean, I I'm always shopping for rates. Yeah. Well, anyway, Marjorie went over to FedEx because the machine at the post office wasn't working. And so she had to go all the way across town, halfway across town. And then she came home, and I, I found a second version of the thing, and I redid it in the thinner ink so it maybe show up better. And I sent it to my lawyer by, the, by, the, by mail. Then my business manager writes me and tells me, well, the number you had for um, uh, the uh, the deposit uh, was wrong because it's like 3.20% of the 507. This was for like the deposit or whatever, $500.07. And I said, well, that was the number I got from, I would already sent it off to, to my lawyer. And I said, that's already the, the number that I got from, uh, from Google. I just put it into Google. And I don't know where he got his number, but I put it into Google again, and I get the same thing, uh, which is like $16 flat, right? Uh, and uh, I just, you know, so, so I was going through that and having to write my lawyer back, and I mean, just, it's just messy. It's just, I just, 
don't want any part of it. I hire a lawyer, go do the fucking job, you know? Yeah. Take care of it for me, and, uh, you know, if you would let me know about this, say, two months ago, I would have sent you the, the forms. You could fill them out, then I could sign them. You know, it just, it's just ridiculous. So, what the hell, you know? I mean, uh, I, I give up. But I don't want to give up because I don't want these guys to be able to get this apartment. No, don't give up. No, so they're gonna give they're up. gonna grind you down. They're gonna they're trying to already. Yeah, well that's how they do it. I mean they're just yeah. refusing to go by what is legal. Oh here's right. one. The boy yield yeet yeet. Yeah, sure. I I'm, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna do that. Yeah. Go away, the boy yeet yeet. <laughs> <sighs> That's a good one. At least it's being honest. Yeah, well, this is enough to make me go crazy. And I'm not even going to trust some other people that come in tonight that are people I know because they were like doing the guy that. guy sits on the corner and says, I'm not going to lie, give me a dollar for a beer. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's, uh, let's see here. What, what's that? I'm looking for a, uh, hmm. Business Facebook, what? I'm, I don't want that. Let me get rid of all of that. I'm just trying to, I, I, I just, you know. Life is not easy anymore. And then I fell tonight. That was another yeah. thing. Oh, wow. Yeah. Do the guy that sent you the cane. You know, what happened was, it's it's kind of strange. I My foot got a cramp. And the way you handle a cramp is you get up and stand on it. Well, I got up to I, stand on it, and then as I tried to walk forward, it kind of collapsed beneath me, and I went to grab the knob on the door, and I slipped and slid, my foot slid, and I fell on the floor. I'm tired of falling. I'm, Do I, I have I'm, to send you a walker next? No, no. No, when, I, when it's time for a walker, I just am not going to walk. Okay. <laughs> All right, I will give up on walking. All right, let me see here. Wait a minute, I just want to uh, start my uh, Chrome up again here so I can see what I need. Um, but anyway, so, you know, so I got, I've got all these things going on. I'm just sick and tired of this crap, you know? Uh, and I know they're trying to wear us down. I can't. I can't watch the news. Past couple of days. Oh, that it's I can't about, watch. Let, all, yeah. What? All about what Hamas has done in in Israel. Look, let me first of all say that Hamas is unconscionable. Okay. Yep. Horrible. Just horrible. All right. So that that said, I feel sorry for the people who live in Gaza, and right. have to suffer the consequences of these assholes yeah yep and they're embedding themselves all through there yeah. yeah and 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 the palestinians are getting it bad and uh you know and and so when uh, uh israel lobs missiles into gaza they're probably killing a lot of innocent people who you know oh, had my. nothing to do with any of this yeah so yeah. it's a difficult situation but let's let's feel sorry also for those people who are, you know, uh, not guilty parties in any of this. Well, yeah. So Hamas mm -hmm. did an act of terrorism. Mm -hmm. So what is Israel doing? They're defending the country. I, defend your country. I'm for that. But defend your country and find out where Hamas is and hit those buildings. Don't just do arbitrary blowing up of buildings. Well, you know, well, they're you doing that, but they can't, they can't, pinpoint them if they spread out and and embed themselves in the in the yeah i in mean the it's, it's, population. it's, it's, That's it's the problem. a real problem yeah. but the question is how much do you cluster bomb uh gaza you know i mean you know they're bombing they're bombing known places where hamas is hidden you know yeah. but you know they can also pull all those people in there too yeah i mean there are a lot of other people around it so and it's, also, a, it's a really screwed up situation also, I no, it, nobody nobody wins a war. Well, I'm I'm kind of mad yeah. at I'm kind of mad at Israel, okay, and I'm mad at them because of 
because in all these years they've really done nothing. Yeah. To try and create peace in the area. You know, they wouldn't go for the two-state uh, uh, resolution, you know, and so on. And uh, the only person that really pushed ahead a, a peace treaty was uh, Yasser Arafat years ago. Uh, and uh, But on the whole, Israel has done nothing. And under uh, Netanyahu, uh, Nothing is happening because this guy is just a right winger who wants to he's bomb just, everybody. He's but, just playing know, he hard was, ass. That's all. He did, yeah, I think he did a lot of good for Israel, but not recently. The Supreme Court crap that he's got going on has shown the world how vulnerable Israel is. You got all the people well, standing you, you, up there protesting. You, you know, this is this this little bombing and everything. This Hamas thing is good news for him because everybody's forgotten about the Supreme Court deal. Right, you know, it, it's now everybody's on a war footing, and they've forgotten about that. But what the Supreme Court thing was going to do, that Netanyahu was going to do, was really deprive the Israelis of their rights, okay, and uh, and and really put him in charge like a dictator. Yep. Uh, so let's not forget that that's been going on. No. Now let me tell you another theory I have. America always, when Israel has problems, comes to Israel's aid. Mm -hmm. All right? Uh, they're always saying, we've got your back. We're on no. your side. And you know why they do that? Now. I'm saying that act in and of itself is anti-Semitic. Now, let me explain why. Because what they assume is, is that in America... They don't want to lose the Jewish vote or the Jewish money. And they all figure we're rich, which is an anti-Semitic thought. You know, it's an anti-Semitic assumption. Uh, we don't. And you don't have to come to Israel's defense necessarily. Now, in this particular case, yes, I would come to Israel's defense, but not because it's Israel, but because it's any country. But what are you going to do? Pull money away from uh, Ukraine? And you don't want to give money to Ukraine anymore, but you're willing to give money to Israel? That's where it gets nasty. Yeah, because That's where it's probably going to happen once they get the speaker. Right. Yeah. The, the Republicans don't want to give any more money to Ukraine. And they're, and most Republicans uh, and, and, and Democrats are pro-Israel. So that's what's going to happen. Well, they're pro-Israel, and uh, you know, but it, 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 they're pro-Israel because of this anti-Semitic notion that Jews are rich, and that's where they'll get their money from. Otherwise, they wouldn't care at all about Jews. They didn't care about them in World War II, did they? You know, so oh, whatever. You know, I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm sick and tired of the. The whole thing, but I think that what's happening there is terrible. It is just terrible. I mean, the way in which they are, the Hamas is fighting this war, just goes against every amount of decency that you could possibly have. Not that there's anything decent about declaring war on somebody, and not that wars aren't horrible and terrible and ugly, but boy, they never get this ugly, do they? Well, it's a terrorist war. It's a terrorist attack. Well, this was a terrorist know. attack. Not I mean, just because oh, well, that excuses because it. Because <laughs> they got well, yeah, it's just because they got they got voted in as a government mm -hmm. at one time, and who knows how that election went? Yeah, you know, they say they were they were voted in, but you know, and the Palestinians supposedly voted them in, but who knows how that election was fixed? Yeah, you know? yeah. But it's not the case anymore. Let me just put, to put my face on temporarily here because we're going to go to Jeffrey Stein, which I think it is Jeffrey, but you never know. You know, it could be somebody using... Oh, there we go. Oh, There's God. Jeffrey. Oh, no, no, oh, no, 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 no. Not, no. not another... That's no. ugly. Oh, it's, not another gay porn. Is that somebody <laughs> taking a dump? Is that what that is? Oh, no. Oh, wait a minute. That's, Jeffrey. That is Jeffrey. Put your pants back up. <laughs> that is Jeffrey. Let me... Have a seat, Jeff. He's not there yet. He's working there. He's working it. 
He's, He's working, working the audio. There we go. You got it, there Jeffrey? You. Just came in from New York today. You just came oh, in from New York. Oh. You got yeah. your pants up, right? I got the, yeah, I got them. Okay, good. Ah. <laughs> good. Yeah. We don't want any surprises. Nah, nothing. But, I mean, it's terrible. You know, it's terrible all the way around. And I don't know what we do and how we handle it. Uh, it's a very weird war to handle. Because as you say, like for instance, Hamas has all these tunnels under Gaza. Mm -hmm. You know, so how do you know where to hit those? I think the only way to really prosecute this war, I hate to say this, is send the troops in. Okay? And then yeah. you can go down to those tunnels and clear them out. You know? They're going to do it. You can bet on it. Well, yes and maybe no. I mean... How good were they at predicting this thing happening? They should have known this was coming, but they didn't. They didn't see That's it. The whole coming. thing is the intelligence wasn't mm. there in the beginning, and the, mm. there was yeah. too many people just sitting there, sitting ducks. Yeah, but I think there were too many people sitting on their hands. Yeah, you know? Uh, you know. Plus, I just, I just so much. You know, it's been how many years? Nineteen forty-eight to now. Yeah, and it's just been this problem continually. Continually. Been percolating for a long time. And Israel, on its own, has done nothing to dampen it down. You know? Well, you almost sound anti Semitic, Alex. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I, I'll tell you, I am politically anti Israel. I know that. You know, I've always been against the politics in Israel, and I think, and, uh, you know, a lot of people in Israel feel exactly the same way. That's why they've been pro protesting against Netanyahu and the current government. So I'm not alone. People in Israel feel the same way. I've no, never, liked, I've never liked their politics particularly, and I don't no. think they've handled this whole thing uh, with a certain amount of decorum. All right? Okay. So, you know, I'm not, I, I don't want to say I'm anti-Israel. I mean, Israel is a country, it, it has been since 48. I think, for one, uh, the uh, Palestinians and the, you know, the uh, uh, Arabs and so on should kind of say, okay, it's been here that long, it ain't going anywhere, now let's figure out how we get along. You know, they haven't done that either. But, you know, Israel hasn't done much to, to create a, a, a positive feeling in the area. So it's, it's, it's a big mess. And it was a big mess that was started by the United Nations in 1948. Yeah. That was a decision I was completely against. Not, a, not at the time. Israel was not part of Because I was eight United. years old, but, you know, what? Israel's not part of NATO, which surprised me. It's not part of NATO? I looked on NATO's website last night, and it surprised me that they're not. Really? I would Because they're in the North Atlantic. Hmm. Are they? Aren't they? Mediterranean. Well, I mean, if North you go, Is that considered I mean, they're right on the ocean almost. I mean, it's, it's the, well, the Black Sea or something like that, but it, go, it feeds into the Atlantic Ocean, doesn't it? I think you're right. Yeah, it is the North Atlantic. I wonder why they didn't join NATO. I don't know. Did maybe NATO not want them? I don't know why. You know. Uh, well, if NATO was, if they were a NATO uh, member, NATO would be, you know, putting boots on the ground right now. Article 5 of NATO says if any NATO country comes under attack, we get involved. NATO countries get involved, so. Yeah, yeah. So why was Trump so involved with him? With them, you know. Uh, you know again, I'm talking buddy, I'm, buddy. It's I'm all the money. I'm going to mention that anti-Semitic yeah, attitude. Yeah, the money. Yeah, yeah. that anti-Semitic attitude. Oh, the Jews have money. I better be nice to them. Yeah, you know. He, he, believe me, Trump doesn't do anything that doesn't benefit him personally. No, you know. So, what the hell? You know, but it's just so they, sad. Uh, and it says they hold the status of a non-NATO ally. A non -NATO. Whatever the hell that means. That means they yeah. Can, what does that mean? They, they can be backed, I guess. By but by they NATO. don't have to pay. You know, so but, but they Trump can be backed by. They can, 
they can be backed by NATO. Yeah, but I guess you know what's that whole thing with Trump making the big thing about you know how everybody has to pay their portion of NATO, but Israel doesn't. Hmm. 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 Yeah, Israel borders on the on the the, uh, the Black Sea was wrong. It, they border on the um, Mediterranean. Mediterranean, right? yeah, the Mediterranean. Mediterranean. Thank you, Kevin. Yeah. Yeah. Which actually goes to the Atlantic, but a little area mm. in, in between Gibraltar and something else here, Tangier. There's a little well, area. I just felt that the whole uh, uh, idea that the that uh, the UN came up with, mm. okay, when they made it allowed it to become a state, become a That's nation. That's interesting too, because they call it an. N oh no an M N N A a non a major non NATO ally designated by the United States. What the hell? Yeah, really. That's kind of it's weird. That's weird as shit. Mm-hmm. A Turkey is a NATO country, that's and they like a, that's like an out that we yeah. gave them. Right. Wow. Huh. That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Well, I just felt that the whole uh, a- idea that the UN came up with, or that they they were actually strong armed into making, because uh, the uh, all the Jews went down there into Haifa Harbor, and and they were come, going down there, and they were threatening to get, go into the country and so on. So they decided to give them the homeland. That is their homeland. Well, you know, it's a lot of other people's homeland as well. Yes. And so you were never you were never going to have a peaceful solution that way. The a lot of Christians, a lot the, of Muslims live in Israel. Well, the peaceful solution should have been to part portion off part of Germany and give that to the Jews, because sure. after all, weren't they owed that? I, absolutely. You know, but nobody nobody suggested that. Yeah. And so consequently, uh, what we got is a uh, you know a really terrible problem for how many years? Yeah. 40, 40, 1948 to now. I don't know how many years that is. My math's terrible. 70 years, something like that? Yeah. Um, and I think it's time that, uh, you know, that, that somehow every president that's come into power has tried to bring peace to that part of the world. It's almost yeah. been a, uh, a thing that presidents feel they have to try. Yeah. And none of them have succeeded at it. None. Yeah. I hope Trump doesn't claim that he succeeded at it, although he says, if I were president now, this wouldn't have happened. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, sure, like he has that type of power. Yeah, yeah. Hamas listens to Trump. Yeah, I'm sure they do. (laughs) He he claims that uh, that, uh, Putin wouldn't have invaded uh, 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 the other country. Yeah. Putin invaded. Ukraine. I, I, Putin was a friend of mine, and I could have talked him out of it. Sure, you could have. Wrong. No, but he would have. He would have. What he would. What he would have done is use Trump. He uses every president, and he's admitted that. Yeah, yeah. They, there was a there was a nightly news or something. He was being interviewed, you know, and they were translating it that Putin was. And said, now that Trump's out of office, he claims that you guys are good friends. He says, I'm not friends with him. I use him like I use other world. Yeah, I know. I I heard that. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm you know, and I'm sure Trump was in shock that they weren't friends. <laughs> you right. know, what I mean, you were an idiot to believe that the, this guy's not a dummy. Yeah. You now, like you, Trump. Jeff, you know? how do you feel about this, Jeff? As he tries You're to muted, muted yourself. Jeff. There you go. I'm I'm very concerned about the world is still there still is uh, very interested in uh, anti Semitism. Yeah. But do, do you, you know, do you consider this uh, this uh, oh excuse me. Uh, do you consider Hamas okay anti Semitic? I think Hamas. so. But they oh, are yeah. they are Semitic. Wow. They are Semitic. Yeah, I understand that. Part. Yeah. Well, maybe I should describe it with something different, which I'm not quite sure what it could be, but... I think they're anti-Israel. 
Yeah. 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 Israel Israel doesn't have terrorists. Because I don't Hamas, think that... Hamas is a terrorist organization funded right. by and trained by Iran. They say that's ale- alleged. I you may be possibly be right, but th- that's alleged, we should say. But I still feel like that uh while Trump was uh trying to get to extend uh as a president, even though he wasn't, he had all. Remember, had the whole uh, the medical facilities and uh, the government places. They tried to take all these people that came in there and blew the place down. And they had what a thousand or a couple of people that really Trump had set around yeah. with a bunch of people, and they were all. Uh, Tremendous number of those people were also very racist people. Also, yeah. I it, the thing that bothers me a lot is when I watch the news at night. Um, the the news people over there are abysmal. I mean, yeah. uh, uh, there's this one guy that NBC has who's pretty good. I'm trying to remember his name right now offhand. Uh, he's really good. But he's not one of the main reporters. But like Lester Holt, why is Lester Holt in Israel right now? I <laughs> mean, is he going to solve the whole problem for us? They're is, all uh, over there, and yeah, they're, they're all. I know that. I know they're all over there. But why? And and the one that's bothering me right now is Erin Burnett. Um, I usually like watching her, but she is over there. I think to make people cry. Yeah, well, that's what they're all doing, though. And, it, yeah, and it's Lester just like Holt is doing the same thing. It's like, my God, you know, you know, they ask the questions and then they keep digging deeper and deeper. They and don't deeper even to see ask what the questions. Here's what's worse: they give the person they're interviewing the answer. Yeah, and then in now, other words, how rather do you than feel about uh, you your know, daughter being killed and dragged away and beheaded in, in front of you? Uh, well, you know, it's, it's, like, it's worse than that. It's something like if they just said. How do you feel about all of this? Okay, that's an open-ended question, and now the person answers yeah. it. But if you say to them, are you aggrieved by what's going on? Has this really hit you badly? Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. then what you're, you're asking them, you're asking them the answer. Yeah. You know, and, I, and, and they're all trying to, if somebody starts crying, do they say, cut? We don't no. want to. We don't want to t- no, take that they person. Stare at them and wait for them to do it some more. We don't want to yeah. take that person's grief and broadcast it. That's not yeah. right, right? No, it's 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 getting bad. They and, just and tape the camera on the guy and the tears coming down. They've been screen. doing it in Ukraine for the past year. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it's yep. just it's it just gets to me after a while. Marjorie today, she was watching MSNBC today, and finally mm. she said, "I can't watch any more of this." I I, it, I turned it off. I turn when the this, news starts and they start interviewing people. I, I turn it off and go in the other room. Come back five minutes later to listen to the weather or something. You know, this is a crap show. She said. Yep. You know, it's just too much. Yep. You, you know, I mean, some of the saddest stories you will ever hear of are coming out of Israel right now. It okay? is okay, no question terrible. about it. But you don't exploit it. You so don't exploit that, it for for ratings. Yeah. yeah, these 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 shots we're going to show you are terrible, so you may not want to watch them. And then they they <laughs> loop it over and over, over and yeah. over again. Yeah. One time is fine. Don't loop it over right. and over again. Well, I think that you should have more respect for people right. than to broadcast their grief for your or, own. Or sit there and go, I know this is hard for you to watch, but you see your son being beaten there. What do you, how do you feel about that? I feel great. It was a good no, no. day. Yeah. What do you yeah. expect them to no, say? No, they don't even say, how do you feel about that? They say, isn't that terrible? Mm-hmm. Yeah. See, again, yeah. Pr- providing the p- person with the answer they're supposed to give. Yeah. I just, I just, every time they do that, even here in America when it happens, and they just true. show somebody and they just had a tragedy and now they're crying their eyes out. Hey, turn off the cameras. Yeah. You know? Don't don't yeah, broadcast. Be a little bit compassionate. Yeah, yeah, it's tough. Yeah, it is. It's so really somebody tough. somebody put on the news on on uh, Twitter or X, whatever you want to call it, that the Chicago 
Black Lives Matter Foundation. Oh, yeah, I saw that. They are, said they are pro Hamas and the, the Hamas, and I'm like, oh, come on. Mm -hmm. How can you be pro Hamas? I can see how you can be how you can be anti Israel. You know, sure. you don't believe in their politics and their whatever. But how you can be pro Hamas if you've got any brain in your head? Yeah. What do you think, Charlie? You've been quiet about this. I uh, can't believe that any group would say they're pro Hamas here in the U.S. Much less black. Oh, I can. There's a lot of anti-Semitism here in the U.S. And so, But I don't think the blacks who are going through what the Jews went through would come up and make a statement like that. I'm sorry. You know, yeah. if they said they were pro-Gaza, or they said they were pro-Palestinian, right? that I understand. Yeah. And okay, that's fine. Different, different question altogether. Right? Yeah. But when you say that you're, you're, you're pro-Hamas, I mean, Hamas, to begin with, a terrorist. is a terrorist they're, organization. They're doing horrendous things over there. How could you be pro any of that? Yeah. Chopping heads off of babies? Give me a break. Well, yeah. then they did it in the name of Black like Lives. They did this, this, this tweet in the name of Black Lives Matter. Yeah. You know, Chicago BLC says, you know, we're with Hamas. BLM. BLM. Yeah. Excuse me, BLM. Black Lives Matter. It's okay. B, WBLS is a uh, black radio station, <laughs> so excuse me. Uh, no, but BLM, you know, is for Hamas. What? Are you speaking for all BLM? No. You know, it's just it. The leader of Black Lives Matter, I think it's a female, was on the news today and said, "This is not our position. We are." With the Americans, we feel bad for what happened with Hamas. They're a terrorist organization, and they attack yeah. Israel, and we are for Israel and not for Hamas. Right. Period. That's it. Right. Yeah. You know, and good for her to stand up and say that, because some people in this world, we won't name anybody like Republicans, Oh, I saw it on Twitter, and so it must be true. Well, that is just a statement from the so. But but right. what it is is that BLM is a large organ organization of people all over the country, and to say that for BLM to you know, well, they did say BLM Chicago. Yeah, you know. I heard Chicago. I heard Black Lives Matter Chicago. Yeah, yeah. So. I would I would have trouble believing that too because Chicago there's so many Jews in Chicago. Yeah, but it's just amazing to me that there are people like the networks who are taking full advantage of this. This is this is a this is a godsend for them. This is money in the bank. Okay. Oh, we're gonna get high ratings with this one, and the more we have people crying, you know, and blah blah blah, rather than just saying, you know, <clears throat> let's report the news here, you know, let's report what's going on. But don't turn it into a, into a, into a, just as, I mean, I see Lester Holt there with just, you know, people crying. And, I like listening to him at night, but I don't like listening to him right now in Israel. I don't like him at all. No, that's okay. But you know why? Because he's black. Why? Yeah, because he's black. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't like him. I just think he's always, you know, kissing the butt of the audience. You know, oh, but isn't that what the and what he's does doing? Nowadays? What he's doing is in Israel is 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 classic Lester Holt. You know, now I don't know how the other ones are handling this, but I think they're probably handling it just as badly. You know, mm -hmm. I don't watch that woman with the eye wings. What's her name on CBS? Uh, Norm McDonald or something? Uh, Nora McDonald. Nora O'Donnell. Nora O'Donnell. O'Donnell. That's yeah. Uh, she. Oh, uh, uh, to begin with, for some reason, she's over there and her makeup person didn't go with her <laughs> because she's looking pretty worn out, you know. Yeah. She's looking much older. Um, but I just, I, you know, I just don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. And then, of course, if Lester Holt is there and all of a sudden he has to jump into a, uh, into a, a bunker because there's a siren. They then videotape that like, oh, we have to get away from the bombs and boom, you know, 
No, it's just a siren went off and everybody decided to go into the into the bunkers because that's the best place to be. Well, no. Israel has that iron dome across them and they're intercepting everything. Are they now? They them. weren't in the beginning. Well, well they did a pretty good there. job of it. They're all standing outside and they're just going off and they're getting intercepted. I'm hoping we have the same technology if it ever happens here. Right, exactly. Well, we're the ones that gave them the technology. Right. Well, they'll use me as Iron Dome. So, yeah. But uh, <laughs> I got it. You, you got it. Okay. I got it. Good. It doesn't matter if the rest of them didn't. Right. Yeah. Hey, I haven't seen. Did, have the Republicans done anything about the Speaker of the House? Yeah, they haven't voted on yes, it. Yeah, Scalise uh, un, the, got an unofficial vote, thumbs up. Oh, okay. I was just wondering because the House can't pass any bills like. Emergency funding. Well, you know, why, why, why can they find a decent Republican? Huh? Uh, yeah. Why do they have to find all these? Oh God! Shit know. disturbers. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, uh, what's his name? Uh, 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 jo uh, Jones. What's his name? Uh, Jim Jordan. G Jim Jordan. Jim Jordan. Yes. God, he's terrible. He's he he got voted out of the picture. So has he? Now, if they did an internal vote, is what it said. I can't find it. I read it an hour. Yeah, that's what I was asking because I, I hadn't seen it. They'll bring it. They'll bring it up on the House floor in the next couple of days or early next week. Yeah. And I'm sure. And the, 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 they'll get. I, I'm glad that he's not going to become Speaker of the House. He's just as reckless as McCarthy was. Yeah. You well, know the 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 shitty thing to me about the Republicans right now is. They the, the, they wanted to interview the president over his impeachment. Well, here it's, this, here here it says while this shit's going on yeah. in Israel, well, they say here Republicans failed to coalesce around Speaker. Uh, uh, oh my, I I, I don't have my glasses on. Speaker choice, leaving the House in limbo. So you're wrong. They haven't mm -hmm. come. Uh, it's what I read. I might be wrong. I'll, I'll see if I can find it. Well, just because you read it doesn't mean it's, uh, yeah, whatever. Uh, let's see here. All right. I found it on CNN. Hold on a minute here. It says October 11, 2023, Steve Calise, Scalise. Scalise wins Republican vote for House Speaker nominee. And um, for House Speaker it, nominee, nominee, right? It says House Republicans pick Representative Steve Scalise as their nominee for Speaker on Wednesday, but the Louisiana Republican lacks the votes needed. To it, it, the there vote. we go. See, he I lacks the that, votes. That part wasn't in the original story. Oh, fuck him. Well, you probably didn't read down that far. <laughs> Maybe they'll wait till 2024 when. Hey, you know, the Republicans have so fucked up this country. You know, if they can't do it with Trump, they'll do it with, with Congress. Well, I, I, see I, that, I, yeah. I see that they're going to kick Santos out. That was another blur. Well, they, they, oh? it, 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 they, they are just going to kick him out? Jeez, yeah. Well, they're going to... What know, was the latest thing from, he was using for people who wanted to... Uh, 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 give to his campaign. They could well, do it by credit card. He just got invited again. Credit card. Thing, and then yeah. he's then he took the credit cards and kept <laughs> using them to line his own pockets. Right. Yeah, yeah they just indicted him again yesterday or something like work. that. Yeah. Over that. This guy's going to jail for a long time. I don't know. Probably. Oh, well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Good. Innocent until proven guilty. Okay. Yeah. So I'm yeah. not going to indict him right now. Do we now. really know the guy's last name is Santa? Uh, you know, I mean, what do you know that's we real We don't know about anything that? about this guy. No. Yeah. I mean, they indict him. What What name do they indict him under? Yeah, really. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's amazing. Yeah, amazing world we live in now. None of this makes much sense. You know, you know, somebody who who brought this up. I, I don't know if it was Jeff or or, or Kevin. Uh, you know about the about the the world is a real mess right now and stuff. Is this the start of Armageddon and just get <laughs> just getting a slow start? Hmm. Well, Armageddon out of here. Yeah, yeah no uh -oh. shit. 
I'm glad I'm in the in the like the last third or quarter of my life. Really? I feel bad for kids nowadays having to live in this country or anywhere in the world for the next thirty or forty or fifty years. Really, it's such a mess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? <sighs> yeah, yeah. That's what I say. Yeah, I can only hope they'll be smart enough to figure things out. Uh, I, I hope you're right. <clears throat> the kids? Yep. Yeah. You yeah. think so? You think they're capable? I think some of them are, but I think a lot of them are pretty uh, complacent. Mm. I mean, I'm sure your kids are okay because you raised them. You know? I, I, I hope to think so. And I think a lot of her friends are, but, you know, that's only a, 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 a minute amount. Yeah. And there's, you know, there's a lot of kids that are like that. And, but, you know, it's really hard to tell nowadays who is interested in this stuff to worry about it. Mm-hmm. And, yeah. you know, there, there is a good amount of people that are and kids that are, but how, how is that going to, you know, trans, translate in, in the future and how many are going to hang on to, you know, do the protesting and that sort of thing that needs to be done? Yeah. Um, you know, that's, that's the question that's never been answered and you can't tell, you know, because people like us used to do that stuff and, and, you know, it's being done now, but it's fading off and people are just saying, oh, fuck it, you know, this is the way it's going to be. And, and it, it's hard to tell what, what's going to happen in the future. And, and I think that to me, it feels like the, you know, the government is taking advantage of that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And if they can grab a hold of that movement, there's going to be problems. Yeah. Yeah. I have a friend of mine who's a cop in the Israeli army and he sent, just sent the text and said that they're, they're continuing to bomb Hamas. It's continuing to send them up with their iron curtain shirt, shooting them out of the sky. Yeah. Yeah. But who, Hamas doesn't have an iron dome. No, no, no. Israel. They're still firing missiles today. Yeah. Into Israel, we're trying to get all the Iron Dome is is it's a system whereby if somebody yeah. tries to lob a missile it's, into it's you, it's like our Star Wars system to be able to knock the missiles out of incoming out of the sky. It's yeah. actually working better than I thought it would. Oh no, their Iron Dome when it when it's working, they I guess they didn't have the switch turned on the other day. There's something, <laughs> but you know when the switch is turned on, that Iron Dome really works. You know. What does it do? Does it send the, the bullet back? No, what happens is they've got a bunch of missiles on the ground. Yeah, and the minute a missile nice comes in, first. it shoots a missile up to intercept it. Right. So it blows, no, it, blows it up midair. You can stand out okay. there and you can watch yeah, the they're whole out there load. doing interviews and you can see them going off in the yeah. background. Yeah. 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 So, I mean. That, that would be great if we could return the missile to where it came from. I always the wonder, where does, on, all the shrap- the, where does all the shrapnel go? Well, well the <laughs> ability on... Uh, all the the earth, crowd. Hamas's yeah. part was to do this without the Israelis knowing that it was going right. to happen. Yeah, so they could well, lob enough of those. Of holiday. So they could lob enough of those in there. Right. You know, and right. the, and Year, I gotta say that the the, geni- the genius of their plan also was that they were also going to send in. They were they were literally paragliding. People in. Yeah, they worked close to the border is what they did. Yeah, and they went yeah. over the border and started taking people and kidnapping them, you know, and doing terror things, you know, by wiping out whole families. Par- paraglider was a little different. These are like James Bond's paragliders. They're gliders with motors on them. Yeah, so and they, they also go. had guys running with ramps for motorcycles, dropping yep. the ramps and then going over in the, you know, like... What was that movie? Yeah, some but, guy was some was guy crazy. was at the music festival and Lester Holt was interviewing, and they show the guy hiding behind his car and somebody from Hamas walks over with the yep. rifle and shoots, yep. shoots the guy. You don't you don't actually see the blood, but you see the guy's body jump from a high powered rifle gunshot. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Like son of a bitch. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's These terrible. People. It's terrible. They, you know they go into some somebody was being interviewed and this is why I had to turn it off last night. I couldn't stop. Somebody was being interviewed and said, yeah, their grandmother was at home. 
and Hamas rushed into the Chabad that they were, I mean, into the into where they're living, whatever you call it, not a Chabad, but a, a what's you know, a Chabad? I've never heard of a Chabad. 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 Yeah, whatever. So, um, rushed into rushed into the home, terrorized her, tortured her, and then killed her and killed the two little kids there, chopped their heads well, off. Well, this is what I don't they get. Filmed it and then they put it on her. And they put the film Facebook, on. Yeah, on her Facebook channel. I mean that you know, to me, I don't understand what possesses people to do that. You know, I can see that war is one thing, yep. uh, hatred of your enemy is another. Yep. But to go in and say, you know, okay, we're going in now. We're going to kill babies. Now, if you believe all that is true, and I do, I do. Uh, but we have to put that caveat there because the reports are coming out of Israel. It's not coming out of you know. News people, particularly, who they've been fed that information, but the fact that they're killing kids, babies, no. No, is it, just it, unconscionable. It was on, it was, there's the, no the, reason to do that. Let me put it that way. In the name well, there's of no your reason cause. to put it on Facebook either. No, but there's no reason to do any of it for your cause. You want to kill other soldiers? Right. You want to kill Different police? Story. You want to do any of that? Right. That's Different war. Story. That's called war. That's right. Okay. When you go around trying to kill babies and children and... and well, there was and, some kind of music festival going on. The music and they shot festival. And killed everybody there. They didn't kill everybody, but they killed a lot of people there. Yeah. yeah. 300 or something like that. But, you know, why people enough. even do that is just beyond me. What is What, what are they thinking? You know? I just well, don't, I don't understand any of it. Thinking. What? They're terrorists. They're not thinking. Well, they're terrorists, obviously. I yeah. think those people you ought to line up on a, a up against the brick wall with a firing squad. Yeah. Well, you know, I just I shoot them in the groin first. I always had the feeling that as a human race, we were probably evolving, but this is we're, proof we're not. The human race were doomed. Yeah. Could well be. Between idiots like Trump. Getting rid of, uh, you know, uh, global warming and, be, and allowing his whoever. Let's go back to let's go back to allowing coal to be used to, to generate electricity. Crap. Yeah. And the, the Republican Party can't seem to find their ass in a bathroom loaded with toilets. You know, and I, it's just so. And the rest of the world, I mean, you know, Ukraine and now Israel and. I'm, can't we all just get along? And obviously the answer is no. Well, no, I mean, it's just, it's just terrible that as a human race, we do this to each other. Absolutely. You know, I mean, I understand, I don't understand war, okay, but I understand that it exists, and it consi exists in a certain uh, uh, th place, and, and, and it, it mm. you know, you so, okay, you want to kill your enemy. Okay, that's one thing. Babies are not your enemy. No. Nope. Children are not your enemy. Old nope. ladies are not your enemy. Old men are not your enemy. Putin or Putin's firing into playgrounds, firing. That's in another hospital. example of, of somebody's yeah. doing it. And if you think Hamas is terrible, Putin's just as terrible. Oh, yep. absolutely. You know. So Same thing. Absolutely. different place. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Well, I'm gonna put the theme on here, uh, which you guys can't hear, but I can and it sounds lovely. Uh, anyway, hey, listen. You know your 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 theory about rich Jews. If we had rich Jews, um, Jeff would be able to run the heater in his house and not have to wear a sweater. Good, <laughs> you're right. You're right. Well, that, that that certainly goes against the theory of rich Jews, right? Absolutely. Oh, boy, my nose has been dripping all night. Anyway, hey, thank you all for being here. I really appreciate it, uh, Charlie. Always good to have you here. Uh, and uh, Alan, good to have you here. Uh, because we need the misinformation. And uh, Kevin, thank you for being here. And but Jeff, Jeff looks great. And Jeff looks oh, great. Thank you. Oh, he yeah. always yeah. looks great, you know. Great <laughs> looking that? old guy, as opposed the to me. The matches the cabinet. You yeah. Did a good all right. Yeah. Anyway, if you'd all give a big wave goodbye, I'll give a wave, a wave goodbye at you. Okay, there they go, folks. That's our citizen panel for tonight. And there'll be another one getting together right here, uh, right after we're through with Jack Bishop and the intersection. 
Uh, he will take your calls on Skype. If you have Skype, if you don't, install it and then uh, use Skype to call him and his phone number. Literally, you can call it a phone number. So you're just putting GabNet Live and that will get you to Jack, okay? In the meantime, I'm going to uh, take about uh, 22 hours off and come right back here tomorrow. Uh, same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Good night, everybody. of doing a sports show it's intelligent it's insightful and it's just plain fun it's the franchise mc whatever that means with the arena wednesdays at 9 30